the book of John chapter 15 verses 1 to 11. I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in His love, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Yan. Okay, ang daming salita ng, ng salitang remain, ano? Ang salita po na kailangan manatili tayo sa ating Panginoon. Okay, the Jesus is the vine. Ano, no? Yes, Jesus is the vine. We are the branches and Jesus says apart from him we cannot do anything at yun lang ang pag-uusapan natin dito po sa ating audio visual powerpoint if the word remain okay remain <clears throat> yeah Jesus says remain in me and I will remain in you okay if you remain in Jesus Jesus will remain in you although kahit nga wala ka kay Jesus wala ka kay Jesus Jesus is still in you Wag lang sana natin makalimutan yon, di ba? The branch must remain in the vine. There's no fruit unless you remain in me. Who says that? Jesus says that, ha? Ito po yung discourse sa John chapter 15. Okay? If you remain, you will bear much fruit. If you don't, you will wither up. Okay? So, matutuyo ka. Pag, pag, obvious ba? Pag, Siyempre, pag pinitas. Kung pinutol na sa vine, ay di wala na. Di matutuyo na. So, remain in me, and my words will remain in you. Okay, if you remain in me, this is what Jesus says. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for anything, and it will be done to you. Okay? Yeah, and my words will remain in you. Stay and remain in me. If you obey, you will remain in my love. Just as I remain in my Father's love, and my joy will remain in you. Okay? So that your joy will be complete. The joy of Jesus will be in us, so that our joy may be complete. So, ang sinasabi ko lang po dito, mga kapatid, we remain in Jesus. We remain in the bind. Huwag natin iisipin na tayo na yan. Huwag natin iisipin na kaya na natin yan. Wag po tayong uh, papasukin ng ating uh, ego. Yan. Yung bang akala natin, tayo na yung magaling. Yan. Akalimutan natin that everything is grace and everything is by the blessings of God to our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Si, si, Lord, si Jesus po yung, yung nananatili sa atin kaya nagagawa po natin yung, yung tila bagang imposible para sa atin. Totoo naman. Pero wala pang imposible sa Diyos. So, Jesus says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for anything. Nakakatawa po ito, no? Sana makabisado nyo ito. If you can, uh, you can you can print this, you can take a picture, and then paskil nyo po yan, no? The word remain. Yung remain na po yan, remain in Jesus. The word of Jesus remaining in us. Remain in the vine. Do not try to do things out of ourselves because apart from Jesus, we are nothing. Okay? Christians apart from Christ are nothing. Pag tinignan nyo po yung salitang Christian, Tapos, tanggalin niyo po yung Christ. Ang may iwan po ay I-A-N. What does it mean? I 
am nothing. Okay? So, ito pong ating audio visual PowerPoint is just the word remain. Remain in God. Let the word of God remain in you and remain in the vine and remain connected to God in everything, in our thoughts, in our words, especially in our work. Everything is waste and let it all be for His glory. Remember that, huh? we do things for the glory of God, not for our own glory. Okay? And we do things by the grace of God for His glory. Amen? And we do that. When we do that, we know that God is faithful and will remain faithful in spite of our unfaithfulness. Okay? But God is faithful. Dahil nga faithful ang Panginoon, we remain in Him. Yes? We remain in God. Okay? And obviously, God is always there with us. Ang isa lang naman sinabi ng Panginoon eh, I will be with you always. I will be with you always. When He gave us the Great Commission, make disciples of all nations, and baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, ano yung, yung kahuli? And I will always be with you. And if God is with us, who can be against us? And if God is with, is with us, mga, ano pa mga kakailanganin mo? God is enough, and more than enough. Amen? Amen.